In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do some simple video editing with Adobe Express. If you're not familiar with Adobe Express, then you need to go to this link. Alright, this is the home page, and you need to click on this video button, and it'll show the video quick actions. The first one is trim video. I'm gonna upload a video here. This is the timeline, and you can drag it from one side to trim it to your required duration. You can also change the size ratio to portrait and a square video. Click on this button and it'll fill the video to full screen. Press and hold your mouse button to position the video as you want. Click on play button to see the preview. You can also mute the video if you want. After that click on this button to download it. Next we have the resize video. I'm gonna drag and drop my video. You can see different size ratios on the right side. Simply click on one and it'll resize it. You can drag to change the video position. You can also choose pre-made size ratios for other platforms. And you can also put your custom size if you want. I'll go back to Instagram and choose this. I'll reposition the video. You can scale it up or scale down as you want. Once done, click on download. Next we have the merge videos. I'm gonna upload my first video. Now you can use this option to add another media item. You can upload multiple videos here. I'm gonna select this. You can see the duration of the first video which is 10 seconds. Then click on this trim button. You can drag it from one side to your required duration. Click on done. This is my second video. Let's see the preview. And as you can see both are merged together now. You can also add more video files if you want. Once done, click on download. If you want to add some text or do more video editing, then click on open in editor. You can see the same timeline here. Click on the text tab and use some pre-made text presets or add a plain text from here. You can place it wherever you want. You can also click on media tab, click on audio and add a background music if you want. You can adjust the volume from here. After that click on download. Alright next we have the crop tool. I'm gonna drag my video here. You can change the video duration and you can also crop the video to your required size. You can manually crop it as well. After that click on download. Next we have the convert to gif. You can change the video duration and choose the gif quality you want. You can select the size ratio. Make it full size. And then click on download. Next we have the animate from audio. And this is a very interesting tool. What you can do is either click on this button to do some voiceover recording or click here to upload a recording from your computer. Then this character will start animating and do lip singing according to your voiceover. You have a lot of different characters on the right side to choose from. You also have more categories available. Let me upload a short voiceover from my computer. You can also enhance your voiceover quality with this button. It's uploaded, let's see the preview. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to remove arrow icon from your desktop shortcuts. This method will work on Windows 10, 11 and any upcoming versions. What you need to do is click on the search bar and type regedit. When it shows the registry editor, click on it. Looks pretty good. You can also change the background image or upload your own image. You can also change the size ratio. Next we have the convert to mp4. It's pretty self-explanatory. You can convert other video formats into an mp4 video. For example, I have an mov format video here. I'm gonna drag and drop it here. Change the duration if you want, then download the video in mp4 format. Simple as that. Lastly we have the video captions. If you have a video with some voiceover, upload it and it will automatically generate the captions for your video. You can choose different styling for your captions and also customize each style from here. Let's see the preview. In this video, I'll show you how to create payment links, customize the payment page, modify the confirmation page and send them to customers to receive payments. You'll also learn how to add your logo, colors and other brand. Looks pretty good. Once done, click on download. So that's it guys, try it yourself and share your experience in the comment section. Please like and subscribe to my channel for more helpful videos. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.